Right, we're with Adam Azzy. He's got four runners on Thursday. A couple of very nice runners. Um, Adam, let's start with uh, race one, Wings of Change. Two very good runs in Cape Town. Yeah, I'm really impressed with uh, his two runs in the Cape. Obviously, he's a horse that on the track showed us that he had a fair amount of ability, which is the reason why we ran him as a maiden in a feature first time out. Um, and he didn't disgrace himself at all, finishing second, and then finishing second in the Cape Nursery, which probably has been one of the strongest Cape Nurseries that they've had, I would yeah. say, in the last six to seven years, if not more than that. I mean, the field size itself uh, speaks for, um, you know, with all the juvenile incentives, uh, you know, the strength of the fields. Uh, so I think that when you look through the field, you know, bringing him back running in a maiden, it should be a nice way for him to break his maiden. Having said that, unless there's something really special in the unraced horses, I'd be super disappointed if he didn't win in a good fashion. Sure. And then um, race six, you've got Majestic Palace. I thought, my opinion again, I thought he needed his last run. He possibly needed it, um, but having said that, uh, you know, there, there's the new rule where we have to settle up uh, in the boxes that are exposed um, to, to the stops so they can view everything that's going on. He's a horse that has to be settled at the back. He just gets himself worked up, so we have got special permission to do that. I think he ran his race before his race, so with taking into account that he possibly needed it and misbehaving, um, you've got it's to put a, a good run. Yeah, you, you put a line through it. It, it was a good run, but it, it's not a true reflection of the ability that he does have. Um, and I think he should give a more genuine performance on Thursday. Then race seven, secret recipe, good last run, but, but open race this. Um, secret recipe, yeah, uh, it, was an, it was an open race last time. I think that, uh, you know, you've got to give her a bit of credit. First time, 1400 up the straight. And uh, this will be her second time. I think she gave a good performance, so she'll be a little bit more smarter to the 14 up the straight. Wouldn't surprise me if she finished in the money. Then Amber Rock, I know we, we were sitting together at this specific spot, and we were both thought the source would win, and, and obviously ran disappointing. I, I believe, put a line through that run, I think he's a, yeah, I think he'll be a tough nut to crack. On he, look, her last, her last run, Muzi wasn't happy post race because uh, he said that as she came out, um, he had to check as a horse came across him, and then the race from there on didn't really work out for him at all. So second run after a lengthy rail, layoff coming back from the Western Cape, this is her third run. I think that uh, she's in a good space, and it wouldn't surprise if if she won a race like this. There would be a level of disappointment if she didn't.